Coming on to budgeting, which is very important in business and in personally, is that your, your budget is an estimate of your expected income and your expected expenses. And if, if you're looking at your cash flow and you see that what happens is you've got more coming in than going out, that's a great thing. If it's the opposite way around and your expenses are a lot higher and you keep falling short, then there could be a problem. And that's where budgeting comes into its own. And the page five is an example of a personal budget. And I've prepared this handout for you because I know that the numbers can be quite heavy and sometimes you haven't got um, all of the figures um, on you at the moment. But this can be a sort of thing, a document that you can take into the new financial year to keep with you and to work on. So you've got your, your budget that you can set for yourself and then you can always compare it in six months' time just to see if what you actually set out to budget for is what you actually achieved. The key thing is, it's really important to keep an eye on the numbers and to see how your money's coming in and how your money's sort of escaping and leaving you. Okay. So setting a budget, the way to, the easiest way to set a budget is initially just to look at what you're spending at the moment and use that as a template and then try and adjust it accordingly. So you don't have to, to make it up, but the key thing is to know how much you're spending in all these different areas, and you won't know how much you're spending unless you're actually keeping an eye on your books. So this information can be applied in personally or to your business. I would apply it to both, because that's how you make a little bit go a long way. Okay. So you've got a choice today. Um, I would say that time is your um, greatest asset when we looked at assets and liabilities. And I think when we, we talk about mindset, the business mindset, the key thing is to think about, let's say, the five people who you spend most time with. And when you're starting a business, sometimes it can be quite um, a daunting journey and you want to take other people with you because you, you're excited by the opportunity but not everybody can see what you can see. And so sometimes one of the hardest things, one of the hardest things I found was that the people, say, I studied at university with, they all went out, they all had a job, and I decided to do something different. And it's finding those people around you who are going to encourage you in your business to go for it and to go forward and not you know, try and talk you into getting a job and tell you that you're mad and <laughs> those kind of things. Um, because as a business owner, you have to think differently and you have to get to grips with the numbers and understand the figures. And even if you don't put them um, together yourself, it's important just to understand where these different numbers come from. But I think if you, if you work hard to be of service to others and show them how the product can benefit them, the more people you serve, the bigger your business grows. And if you really set out to help people, then I think you'll all do very, very well. Thank you. Thank you.